Hi again, everyone. This is Trisha Trotman Maraj, speaker, author, survivor, and blessed child of God, just like you are. I have a question, and here's the question. Have you seen, or have you ever seen, an injured man, an injured woman, an injured child, progress? Have you ever seen that? And the reason I'm asking you is simply this. How can you progress in life if you are injured? Whether the injury is physical, psychological, emotional, due to abuse, stress people that have come into your life and they have taken things from you they have broken your spirit so much so that you're depressed you can't move on you can't think of a way forward you can't see a way through you're surrounded by darkness you can't see light is that you because I'm speaking to you here is your light your light is here. God is here. And He is ready to heal you. So that when you move forward in the path that He has designed for you, you are going to move forward with full force, with full strength, with full confidence, knowing that He is in control. You can't progress if you're damaged. You can't. Because every time you try to move forward, it's going to hurt. And that pain is going to keep you grounded. You get up in the morning, you feel heavy. You feel depressed. You can't see your way forward. You seem to be surrounded by darkness. And sometimes all we need is just a little light in that darkness to help us know the direction that we are to move forward. Darkness and light can't exist in the same place. And it only takes a little light to dispel a whole lot of darkness. Darkness can't cover light. But light, even the smallest amount, can dispel the dark. I am here today to drive that darkness from your mind from your thinking, from your mindset, from your experience. Because today, your healing shall come. I ain't joking, you know. This ain't no Nancy story. It's not a fairy tale. This is real stuff. It's time that you light your fire. It's time that you get your candle burning. Because somebody tried to put it out. But the very fact that you are still here, it means that you have a purpose. Let me explain something to you. I have been asked, Trisha, why the slogan born to win? Why do you use that slogan born to win whenever you speak about yourself? and the mission that you are on and I answer simply because I was born to win before this person that you are seeing here came into existence I was fighting my spirit was fighting a man let's go to, let's go to basic biology all you scientists out there Let, let's talk a little bit of genetics chromosomes let's talk about the zygote let's talk about the spermatozoa and that egg millions of sperms are released 
but only one fertilizes that egg to produce that zygote, that mass of cells that eventually multiplies and multiplies through the process of mitosis to create a fetus which grows into a child, a human being with life, with emotions, with a soul. I am that human being I was fighting from the time I was released from my father into my mother. I was fighting. And the very fact that I am here talking to you today, it means I am one. And you did the same thing too. That's why I'm talking to you. It's time for you to stop living in the feet. It's time for you to walk into the victory that you were born to walk in. Because darling, you were born to win. Stop living in defeat. You got damage along the way? No problem. God is a healer. He's going to heal you, receive it, move forward. Because we are all warriors in Christ. We are all fighting a battle. And it's not a battle of flesh. It's not a battle of flesh. We're not fighting flesh. We're fighting the spirit behind the flesh. So don't sit down in your corner and accept defeat. You were not born for defeat. You were born winning. You were born to continue to win. Because your father in heaven is a winner. He's a winner. And if sheep don't make goat, if apple trees don't bear bananas, and your father in heaven is a winner, what are you? Come now, man. You're a winner too. Say it. Believe it. Live it. It is there. He just wants you to grasp it. So you know what? I'm going to stop here. Because I could talk whole day. But let me tell you something. I want to see you there on Saturday. This Saturday at Bloomsbury Holiday Inn, London. I want to see you there. The 30th of July 2016 at the Holiday Inn, Bloomsbury. It's London. One o'clock. Let's win together. You see, his word says, where one and two are gathered, he is there in the midst. I'll be there. Will you be there? And if you there and I there, he is in the midst. And once he is there, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Nothing is impossible with God. I hope you're fired up because I'm fired up. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. Have a great day and touch base when you see me. Let me know if this video helped you in some way. Come and talk to me. I'm approachable. I don't bite and I have no horns. Perfectly safe. Just on fire for Jesus. So have a wonderful one. This is Trisha Trotman Mirage. I'll see you guys on Saturday. Bye.